It's Mini Me Day. It's Mini Me Day. This month's box has both my favorite holidays. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It is Mini by Me Day. This is a monthly subscription box for Maniology. It has all the nail stuff that you need in it. And let's open up and take a look. And this is a monthly subscription box. It is $25 a month if you buy every month. Uh, it is a little cheaper if you buy a year at a time, or I think there's a three month, six months. I'm not sure. Um, there's also an express kit where you get just the stamping plates that are exclusive to this box and the little extra that they send every month that um, is also not exclusive to this box. And I usually have some bird sounds in the background, my back, my front porch sounds. It's raining today, so you get a little nice thunderstorm <laughs> background music. All right, so here's this month. This is what's in on the in the box, the very first thing we come to, and it shows you the theme. And I'm oh my gosh, look at that. Little Santa pumpkins. All right, you'll have to excuse the people going by. You know, with the good, we got to take that. And then on the back of that, it tells you what's in it. Um, so we have uh, extra twisted candy canes to undead reindeer, Mary and Fright box this is so cool these images are so awesome and I understand this would not be for everyone um, but I'm loving it I think it's so cute Hail Santa is B450 and it is a dark red with a pearl finish stamping polish and then we have Holly Hell, B451, a dark green metallic stamping polish. And then for gradients and glitters, have nothing to fear, a double-ended sponge tool. Oh, I thought that was another car coming by, but um, yeah, it's really raining hard here. And then it gives you a little suggestion. Clean sponges immediately after use by dabbing it with an acetone-soaked so paper towel. So I did not know that. That is new information. Um, I have some of these that I use with gel. I really haven't used them with regular polish before, so we're going to test that out. And then it shows you uh, Season's Creepings is the name of this manicure. Really cute. And then on the back, it shows you a step-by-step -step of how to do it. And here is the actual tool. And it has um, different tips that you can replace. So eventually, you know, like I said, I usually use gel and clean it with uh, alcohol. So I haven't tried it. I don't know how these will hold up to acetone. Um, but on the back here, it does say over time polish builds buildup will occur, um, even with cleaning and making the sponge no longer usable. So at that point, discard and use a new head. So there are four extra heads. Um, so there's six all together, and then you'll see a couple of them have like I'm starting to yell over the rain, uh, like pointy tips on it. So we're gonna we're gonna try try one out. I'm not gonna open this one because I have one. I don't wanna. I can give this away. All right, on my hands, uh, on this hand, my left hand, I have some uh, bases load lacquer, and it was like, I don't know what this is from. There's no label, so I think she just I put it on I think last summer, and she just sent it home with me or gave it to me. I don't I don't know, but it's really pretty. And then over here, I've got Maniology's Glam P122. This is still available. Uh, I bought this last year. 
It is very, very pretty. And I just put two coats of it on. Three coats does build up to complete opacity. It's just, mm, just a little sheer, but it's glittery. It's excused. Here are the two polishes. Hail Santa and Holy Hell. It cracks me up. This is so pretty. It says dark red. Is that what it said? Um, but that really looks purple to me. Maybe it'll look different once I get it on. And then this is a metallic green. So pretty. They're metallic stamped so well. But we're going to put them on the lids and give it a grade. I think I am going to swatch both these plates entirely and put them on my stamping station stamper cleaner. And like I said, I am going to stamp these, so let's just take a quick look at what's on here. But I'll show it to you stamped with both the polishes. Oh, <laughs> that's um, a rib cage Christmas tree. <laughs> these are cracking me up. A little bat holly hanging. I don't know what I'm going to do, but these are so cute. And I love that. That is plate X MXM091. These plates are exclusive to the box. You either have to buy the box or the express kit. Um, I do have a discount of 10% from Anneology at Skyling325, just like my channel. And you are welcome to use that anytime or whoever is, you know, your favorite YouTuber. There's plenty to share. And sometimes Manneology has a discount code, and sometimes it's more than mine, so absolutely make sure you're with any of the discounts. You're getting the most discount available. These are I just love these. Love it. A ho 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 and the little pumpkins. The skeleton heads. Uh, I just love this. Like I said, I know some people won't. But I do. I will be using my giant squishy stamper uh, from GP Stamping. That link is also below. Whether or not they still have those, I don't know what to tell you. All right, first let's try Hail Santa. Um, I want to do the little, ooh, ooh, let's do this one. just keeps getting uh, more and more crazy out here. Ooh, picked up beautifully. It even shows up on the black. It does look more red when it's stamped. And there it is just painted on a nail. It is more of a red wine, dark wine color, I think. That is two coats. That is just beautiful. And that gets an A. I just had to continue closing my window. It is pouring like crazy here in southern Illinois. Fender is vibrating all the polishes on the shelves. I live in a concrete bunker. My house is 8 inch thick poured concrete walls. 
because we are prone to tornadoes and storms. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? That is fabulous. Very visible over the black and over the white. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is beautiful. A plus plus. This one gets um, 110. You got extra credit for this one. And I don't know if any of you care, but this kind of really helps me with like what's going on in the polish. This one has a little bit of holographic glitter going on. And this one has a lot of silver metallic. Just beautiful. All right, I'm going to clean that plate up and then we're going to get on to swatching the whole plate and I'm going to show it to you. Um, like probably may, maybe one swipe, I'll show you swipe picking it up and on the stamper and then I'll just show you each image on the stamper and then when I get done applying them to the um, sticky stamper, what is that? Um, I'll, I will show you all of that so you can see what they look like stamped. Sometimes it's hard to tell what they actually look like on a plate. I don't always do this, but... I'm going to today. Now I think things like this are an amazing Christmas idea. So if you have somebody that you have no idea what to get them for Christmas, Here you go. Get them a gift card to Maniology or get them, buy them some stuff. Or buy them a subscription for a year, three months. One month. Just while I'm swatching these, this box I will give away this exact box, a duplicate of it. I have not got that yet. I also have not received my uh, box of cheer, the advent calendar, but as soon as I receive those, I will be doing a giveaway for both of those. These are so adorable. I didn't say cute that time. Also, I, stuff is coming me every day, and uh, I'm trying to film every day. I've got lots of things to show you and time to buy Christmas presents and just different ideas for Christmas. If you're broke, 
take what you've got and give your friends coupons to get their nails done paint their nails do something pretty on their nails I personally am not offended by gift cards like that but um, just stay tuned I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming out really quickly you know if I don't flub them up All right, I don't know. I was hoping this would help me decide what I wanted to do. <laughs> but there's so much on here I want to do. I really love those. Those would be so cute with orange behind them. Those are so cute. I just can't decide. Cannot decide. So I just wanted to show you real quick. I probably won't show you doing the, my nails, the nail art. But I wanted to see what they look like stamped over each other. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then that's the color of my nails. Except they're yellowed because I've been in lotion. And I put furniture together yesterday. And I personally have an issue with white turning yellow. It's um, definitely something that I struggle with by myself, I feel like. And it's definitely a, a chemistry thing. Absolutely beautiful. Again, A plus. And the rain is lit up enough for me to open my window full again. And I feel like this would be better with a white stamped over it first. But those are so cute. But, I mean, it's a dark color, so it still looks beautiful. So I'm going to show you how to do it like a gradient. Just a, a little bit of a gradient. And with the stamp. So this is not Maniologies. I don't know where I got this and it doesn't say on it, but it's the same thing. Like, it's the same thing. But I've had this. I haven't used it. So I'm going to get some of that polish on there. And it's like a, a snow bank of blood. If you want a little darker, you can absolutely put some more on. Let that dry a little bit. Or you can do like one out of the center, just a, a ball in the middle. And then like stamp a, one of the ornaments in there. That would be good. And then it said to put some acetone on 
paper towel. <laughs> I've got green everywhere. And dab that off. Let's get it off on dry first. I mean, kind of like with gel, so. I, I feel like that's probably as clean as it's gonna get. Really not very hard at all to do. And then I'm gonna, with this um, Ghoul Pal, I've had this for a couple weeks. It's kind of a gold black I think we're just going to do this I don't think I'm going to do this I don't know what I'm going to do on my nails yet there is a spider there's a spitter right on my stamper uh, go away Mr. Spitter go hang out in spider webs that my husband informed me I have along my ceiling in the living room. Don't judge me. Or here's an idea. Clean it yourself without having to say anything about it. Men. Oh, he's so cute. All right, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. And stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. I think I got Lucas digging corn from the corn crib out of his butt. He's got a crack full of corn. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see your butt, man. Shake it. Squat and shake it. <laughs> we got a goat fight going. Oh, are you king of the hill? Okay, at least look up here. Lucas. Come on. Sit with your mom so we can get a picture, please. No. Just do it. No. Alright, I'm i I'm gonna eat the rest of a sucker. No. Come sit with me, take a picture. <laughs> Hold on. That is dedication. Look, <laughs> it's way back. We're not even looking.